Let's talk about personal relationships, but not any kind of gen or general relationships, but about marriage and divorce. Marriage seemingly is a simple matter, uh, if I could say, but divorce is really debated uh, between people and especially between believers, whether it is uh, allowed or whether divorce is a sin or whether divorce is something which could be executed when two people uh, who are married but they have so many problems and troubles and disagreement together then they better to divorce so i really would like to have your opinion and your views on divorce i like to share very clearly what the bible says and often i cannot hear this bible verse when people talk about divorce malachi chapter 2 verse 16 the first part says for the lord god of israel says that he hates divorce wow that he hates divorce for the lord god of israel says i'm not sure how you can uh, over talk about this bible verse but so short and so clear no i had a story in my life also but before i share the story let another bible verse also what is just more making clear about the will of God. Matthew chapter 19 verse 6 says, speak about and to be flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together let no one separate. What God has joined together, let no one separate. If you will really want to know God's will in your life, and for everyone, God always wants unity, always oneness, and the devil wants always separation and divorce confusion. If you want to really study this, Jesus sharing about divorce, the Matthew chapter 19, and from verse 1 to 12, there was included the Bible verse, the verse 6 was just read for you, for what God has joined together, let no one separate. But after this Bible verse, the seven says, why then, they ask, and this is the Jewish Pharisees, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? Now listen what Jesus says. Jesus replied, Moses permitted you to divorce, not God, the Moses. Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard. But it was not this way from the beginning. Wow. Even he after not talk about what was from the beginning, but he says, but it was not this way from the beginning. The divorce is a disaster. But I can understand for sometimes people come in very difficult situation and they can cannot longer just live together. Can be both hurting each other. Can 
terrible situation in financial, in moral, in spiritual things, a lot of things. Now, I like to share for you when you have a so troubled situation, to have one way. And I experienced this way. Yes. We was quite young uh, married with Hermie. She's a wonderful wife. We have one son and this time we was young married. That means this time we just live in a very, very simple place, one room, small place. But somehow we had yeah, battle. Even pastors, both of us. But someday we said it's it's enough. And the Hermit decided for packing and go. And even I helped for her. Really? Yes, everything is packed and just order so she can go and everything's fine. And she did very well. She packed everything and uh, not coming the interesting. We used in a very funny way. We said, what God has joined together, let God uh, who will separate. Please don't laugh, but it's quite <laughs> laughable things. But this is what I think so. This was my funny ideas. That means let just the last prayer. And we just sat down to the sofa. She very, very far from me on the left side and very, very far for her to the right side. And we began to share to Jesus, not to each other, but to Jesus. You know, Jesus, how can be for my wife this and this and this and this? And Hermes said, how can be husband for not uh, washing the dishes and this and this and this? And I said, how can be my wife this and this and this? And my wife, how can be my husband not put the cloth in the right place and this and this? And we just talked to Jesus to talk about all the things that we was really concerned and really was really, really mess up and just really, really just out of tune and and we just felt okay it's enough. It, we can we just cannot live together, it's enough. And we just say and say and, and after a quite long time, maybe one hour later, uh, I just ask her, Do you have something? Uh, she said, Oh yes, and she just shared once again, how oh, come for my husband? This and this and uh, after I think, uh, wow, oh yes, how can be my wife this and this and this? And finally, it was finished. And it was really finished. All our pain, all our hurting, all our hatreds has got not to, to our life, not putting to my difficulties to my wife and not my wife put to me but he put on the cross when Jesus died for these things and suddenly we felt so free so different and even I asked do you feel she said yes God saved my marriage through the Golgotha once again, through his precious blood. Yeah, and we began packing out everything. And now we just passed a 25 years old marriage. And we have so many upside down in our life. I got to keep going with his love, a guiding, and even continue have a lot of challenges, just hurting and things. But step by step, we can know more and more about His truth. And then I complete our life, His love. Though maybe we can forgive 
not just, but may forget. And we may not bringing the old things back to today as we cannot crucify Jesus once again and once again when we are confessed our pain and we laid already all the things. For it's no anymore exist. It's white as a snow. So sometimes happened also for when came some topic, I just said, I don't know what you talk. I don't remember. That's this and this and this. And finally I shared also for honey, what we already put in him and already washed by the precious blood is not anymore exists. And God always show his love. I love her me. And I even did so many pain and many difficulties, even today. But keep going. And I don't give up. And God don't give it up. And even she also may share things or may not act as before. But somehow when you have unconditional love, when you died your life and crucified all things, though nobody can and nothing can hurt you. So I ask, lastly, I ask you for, if you have any problem with your spouse in your family, don't forget Malachi chapter 2 and verse 16a. For the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce. We have Christ Jesus died for your relationships with your wife, with your husband. Keep going. Put your pain to the cross daily. Lift up the cross and walk daily. And you will be always have a victorious life and victorious daily life. God bless you. Thanks for watching the Leslie King's podcast. I really appreciate you. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. And if you do, there are royalty budgets and other perks depending on your level of membership. All you need to do is click the join button underneath the video to find out. Thank you for your support.